Once upon a time, in a world where people had forgotten to be kind, there lived a man named Noah who worshipped God. Noah was a man of faith, but everyone else around him disobeyed and hated God. One day, something shocking happened. God spoke to Noah, revealing a plan to destroy the wicked world, sparing only Noah's family. God instructed Noah to build a wooden ark, a boat big enough for his family and many animals. Noah got to work, following God's exact instructions. Probably, people mocked Noah as he explained why he was building an ark. But Noah kept building, also spreading the word about God, though nobody listened. As the ark neared completion, God brought animals of all kinds, seven of some species, two of others. Birds and beasts, tiny and tall, all made their way to the ark. Perhaps people shouted insults at Noah, but they did not stop sinning against God. They did not ask to enter the ark. Finally, all the animals and birds were aboard. God invited Noah and his family into the ark. As they entered, God shut the door. Then the rain came, a great downpour soaking the earth for 40 days and nights. Flood waters covered towns and villages. The ark floated on top of the rising waters, sheltering Noah from the flood. After five months, a drying wind sent by God brought the ark to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Noah and his family waited inside as the water lowered. Noah sent a raven and a dove out. The dove returned with an olive leaf, a sign that the earth was slowly drying. God told Noah it was time to leave the ark. Together, Noah and his family unloaded the animals. Noah, filled with gratitude, built an altar and worshipped God who had saved him and his family from the awful flood. God gave Noah a wonderful promise. Never again would he send a flood to judge human sin. As a great reminder of this promise, God gifted the world with a rainbow, a beautiful sign of his covenant. And so, Noah and his family found new beginnings after the flood. In time, his descendants raped people the whole earth, and all nations came from Noah and his children. <laughs>